Hey everyone, today's topic, never put someone down for what they're passionate about. This is a really crappy behavior, and I'm sure we've all witnessed it. Heck, maybe even when we were younger, we participated in this ourselves, and it's really not cool where somebody makes fun of someone else or mocks them, ridicules them for what they're interested in, for what they're passionate about. Some great examples would be if someone is into collecting cards, some people will mock them for that and say it's a waste of time. Or if someone's into crystals, you'll have people who don't believe in that ridiculing them for their belief in crystals. Or if somebody's very religious, atheists will, you know, tend to mock them for their passion and their religion. There are all sorts of examples for this behavior, but at the end of the day, all of it is messed up. Because what's the point in making fun of people for what they choose to be interested in. So long as they're not harming you, they're not harming others, and they're not harming themselves, what's the problem there? <laughs> like really, as long as they're not causing harm to anyone, including themselves, is there really an issue? Now sure, sometimes if they're participating in a scam and they're burning their money because of their passion, that's a bit different. At that point, you could probably step in and say, hey, you know, Maybe you shouldn't be so passionate about this multi-level marketing <laughs> scheme or pyramid scheme or whatever if, they're, if they fall victim to something like that. But in most cases, people's passions are not harming themselves, they're not harming their bank account, and they're not harming other people. So there really isn't any point in voicing your opinion vociferously and saying that they're wrong for being passionate about that thing. Like, the reason I was inspired to make this topic is because of a conversation I had with a really close friend of mine, and she was telling me how her daughter, her daughter's father, they're separated, so that explains that, her daughter's father was basically ridiculing her daughter for being into crystals because he doesn't believe in that. And it doesn't matter at the end of the day whether or not you believe in something like that. If someone's passionate about it, let them have that. Like I said, if they're not harming themselves, they're not harming anyone else, what's the issue there? Let them choose to be passionate about whatever speaks to them, whatever calls to their heart. Because these things are very important to us. They make life more vibrant and beautiful and meaningful for us. If you try to live your life taking away other people's passions, like what are you? You're almost like a monster. There's no point in engaging in that behavior. It's taking happiness away from people merely because you disagree with what they believe in or what they choose to be interested in. That's really messed up behavior. So in general, just strive never to participate in this kind of behavior unless, like I said, the person is harming themselves or others or really harming their bank account because they're falling victim to a scam. But in most other cases, that's probably not going to be happening. That's like very rare, extreme cases that aren't common at all. So most of the time I wager people's passions are fine. Like just don't harsh somebody else's mellow because your opinion is different than them. We all are going to have different opinions and there's no point in trying to make everyone believe in the same stuff that we believe in because then humanity would lose that spark of individualism that makes all of us different and unique and beautiful in our own ways. So yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. <laughs> you can tell I'm passionate about this. So I'll step off my soapbox. I've conveyed my point here and I truly hope you enjoyed this video. If you like content like this, be sure to subscribe for more. Otherwise, the easiest way you can help me out is just to throw a like and a comment on the video for the algorithm. And let me know if you have any topic ideas you would like me to dive into. Otherwise, I have a list of like over 300 topics at this point. So there's a lot to cover, but we're getting really close to day 1000. And at that point, I'll probably shift the way that I've been making these videos, but we'll see. Day 1000 is only like a less than 100 days away at this point. That's pretty crazy. We're already over 90% of the way there. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Arrivederci.